Tina from My Disney Embellishment. I'm here again with this envelope journal and I've gotten some, you know, you guys seem to think it would be good for different kinds of storage. I've heard recipe storage. I've heard um, uh, people said recipe keeper, ephemera storage, sticker storage, stamp storage. Um, so I think any of that would be good. But you know what? Then I started thinking and I'm like, maybe this is the kind of thing that somebody else would like to um, just come up with on their own. But one thing it is missing. I didn't like the fact that there's got this gap in the middle. So what I thought I would do is take a piece of vellum and let's see. If I take this and let me go here. Let's just say, ah, oh, I could just do it this way and make it the same as this. Actually, like that. Yeah, we'll do it like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it so it's the same as these envelopes. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, la, la, la. give me a pencil, which I can never find. Um, we'll go ahead. I'm going to make a vellum pocket for this. So I need to get my, I folded it to be the same and I just used eyeball. I just eyeballed it. I just used my eyeball. I just used my eyeball. And then I'm gonna take this. You can hear the birds, the birds. Then I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna do the same thing on the side. Go ahead and This is a really little nifty, Thought I would share how to do this little trick. Um, okay. So now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get my scissors. And I'm going to... I'm going to angle this just a little bit on the side. A little bit on this side. And then for this... We'll angle a little bit on that side, a little bit on this side. And then I'm going to cut this off. And I think what I'm going to do is instead of decorating it, I think I'm just going to sell it and put it in the shop. It's just, you know, uh, a a ephemera keeper or whatever and let people just you know have somebody buy it and decorate it the way they want maybe okay and then I want because I want these to be doesn't look very good I think I didn't do a very good job That. And then I'm gonna do it medium, large. It's too large. Okay. So now I'm gonna take this. Which way do I want it? Do I want it this way or do I want it this way? All of them are going the same way, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. And then I'm going to line this up. Figure out where the holes are. I think there's one here. Actually, Tina, you know, I'm going to line it up like this and then I can um, use a like that. Do 
And then we're gonna get my trusty stuff here. Sew that in. Sew it, make it sew in, make it sew in. The same thread I used. Hopefully. Here are all the birds. Crazy birds. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in here just the same way we did with the other ones. Oh, I just stuck myself. Don't stick yourself. Don't be like me, don't be like me. Okay, and then we're gonna go middle. Y'all, I don't know. So, Dee Dee's coming up, y'all. I don't know who is participating. Any of you guys gonna participate in the December Daily with Tracy Fox? Um, I don't know, I have got an idea and I'm excited about it. So I can't wait start but you know we have to we just have to wait we have to wait we can't we have to wait all right so I wanted this to be a this is kind of like a see-through pocket in the middle so we go right over left down. Whoops, it's not quite right. Oh, I nailed Ellen. And also, I need to be able I'm gonna fold it down to right here. All right. Actually, it might have been right this other way. It looks like vellum is tricky. There. So, still, I don't like the way this is coming out, y'all. Just so. Do y'all ever have these issues? Anyway, so I need to get some supplies. I think. Once to get some supplies. Um. To get ready. If you are planning on participating, what do you see? I don't know when the kit comes out. I think it comes out on the 16th, maybe? This month, I think. I think that's what she said. And the good thing about it is that when the kit comes out, Y'all watch for it. The kit comes out and she'll post it. It will go, um, it will go in her shop at 40% off until the collaboration starts. Okay, so now we have a pocket inside that's clear that you can see through. 
and there, isn't that cute? Easy peasy. So now I have this. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna add it, call it an ephemera holder. Uh, you decorate an ephemera holder, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick it in the shop um, and see if it does anything. If not, you know, hey. Uh, also, I did want to show you this. If I can find it. Um, <clears throat> oh, I mean, oh, all kinds of stuff's falling out of here. One. This, and I haven't put it in my shop yet because it was done a while back. This is, uh, this is an, um, this is an, a design team project for Victoria Design. It's probably the last one that I ever did for her. Um, and so it's a journal and I just thought you might want to see it. It's called Cottage, I believe it's called Cottage Home is the kit. Um, that looks like that needs to be, man. Um, it's a, I just, you know, I kind of, I love, I love her, her work. It just kind of seems like after a while they all started looking the same to me. So I just kind of like, no, um, but I'll, I'll do a flip through. Um, she, she didn't like this one. So she didn't do a tutorial on this one because it has a different kind of binding it has, um, I used tab binding, and she thought that would be too hard for people to use. So I don't know, can you see this? Yeah, so it's got this kind of binding, and then I turned, uh, I cut the pages out to fit. So it has a lot of flips. Um, here's envelopes, and things like that. So she's not putting the tutorial on her page. Like I said, because, here we go, because she thought this would be too hard. And I don't honestly know where I, what I did with it because it's been so long ago. It's got all of these different things in it. And this is a flip here. And here's another one. This has little... really pretty it's a pretty little journal more um, things lots of journaling space and lots of flippy doodles more of these I think it came out really pretty um, different kinds of things here here is a pocket with different things in it. Another flip out. And I think this feels like it should have something in it, but maybe not. It just feels like it should. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long time. But anyway, and then I guess it's just a flip. I guess it's just a flip. And there's another one. These are like like that. And over here, and some of the pages I just left blank. See how here. All of these are little flippy things. More. Lots of stuff to take out and, and find. And an envelope. I don't know how that, oh, I guess it's, how in the world? Ah, right there. And here is another envelope. So, and this is a journal card. Yeah. And that's that. So it did. It had these, um, I don't know if you can see, but the binding, I took a little tab binding and
and I just put it in there anyway. And on the front, we have this that says journal, and then this is a, it is a couple of, it's three-dimensional, it's got dimension, and I put this beautiful lace on the front. So anyway, that's what I did. This was a quick one again. I'm going to try to figure out something to do, and I might, but anyway, <laughs> I'll try to figure out something to do, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm getting ready, getting all psyched up for this, um, for this new, new kit coming out, and um, getting ready, just thinking, just thinking. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.